every mental disorder explained. Anxiety disorders. Anxiety disorders involve excessive worry or fear that interferes with daily life. People with these disorders often feel restless, on edge, and may have physical symptoms like a racing heart or sweating. There are several types, including generalized anxiety disorder, panic disorder, and specific phobias. Depression. Depression is more than just feeling sad. It's a persistent low mood that affects how a person thinks, feels, and acts. People with depression may lose interest in activities they once enjoyed, feel hopeless, have trouble sleeping, and experience changes in appetite. It can range from mild to severe and can significantly impact daily functioning. Bipolar disorder. Bipolar disorder involves extreme mood swings between emotional highs, mania or hypomania, and lows, depression. During manic episodes, a person might feel extremely energetic, euphoric, and impulsive. In depressive episodes, they may feel hopeless and lose interest in activities. These mood swings can be severe and affect a person's ability to function in daily life. Post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD. PTSD can develop after experiencing or witnessing a traumatic event. People with PTSD may have flashbacks, nightmares, and severe anxiety related to the traumatic event. They might avoid situations that remind them of the trauma and may be easily startled or always on guard. PTSD can significantly impact a person's relationships and daily life. Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia is a complex disorder that affects how a person thinks, feels, and behaves. People with schizophrenia may experience hallucinations, seeing or hearing things that aren't there, delusions, false beliefs, disorganized thinking, and reduced emotional expression. These symptoms can make it challenging to distinguish between reality and imagination. Eating disorders. Eating disorders involve extreme emotions, attitudes, and behaviors surrounding food and weight. Common types include anorexia nervosa, restricting food intake, bulimia nervosa, binge eating followed by purging, and binge eating disorder. These disorders can have serious physical and emotional consequences and often coexist with other mental health issues. Disruptive Behavior and Dissocial Disorders These disorders involve patterns of behavior that violate the rights of others or major age-appropriate social norms. They include conditions like conduct disorder in children and antisocial personality disorder in adults. People with these disorders may show aggression towards people or animals, destroy property, or consistently break rules. Neurodevelopmental Disorders Neurodevelopmental disorders are a group of conditions that begin in the developmental period, usually early in childhood. They include autism spectrum disorder, attention deficit slash hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and intellectual disabilities. These disorders affect the development of the nervous system, leading to difficulties in personal, social, academic, or occupational functioning. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, OCD. OCD involves recurring, unwanted thoughts, obsessions, and repetitive behaviors, compulsions that a person feels compelled to perform. These obsessions and compulsions interfere with daily life and cause significant distress. Common obsessions include fears of contamination or harm, while common compulsions include excessive cleaning or checking. Personality disorders. Personality disorders involve long-term patterns of thoughts and behaviors that are unhealthy and inflexible. These patterns differ significantly from cultural expectations and cause problems in relationships and other areas of functioning. Examples include borderline personality disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, and avoidant personality disorder. Social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety disorder, also known as social phobia, involves intense fear and anxiety in social situations. People with this disorder may worry excessively about being judged, embarrassed, or humiliated in social interactions. This fear can lead to avoidance of social situations and significantly impact daily life. Substance use disorders. Substance use disorders involve the continued use of alcohol or drugs despite significant problems caused by their use. These disorders can range from mild to severe and may involve various substances including alcohol, opioids, stimulants, and cannabis. They often affect a person's physical health, relationships, and ability to fulfill responsibilities. Dissociative Disorders Dissociative disorders involve a disconnection between thoughts, memories, surroundings, actions, and identity. This disconnection is usually a way of coping with stress and may have been triggered by traumatic events. Types include dissociative identity disorder, formerly known as multiple personality disorder, and depersonalization derealization disorder. 
Body Dysmorphic Disorder BD. BDD involves an intense preoccupation with perceived flaws in appearance that others may not even notice. People with BDD may spend hours each day thinking about their perceived flaws and engage in behaviors like excessive grooming or seeking cosmetic procedures. These thoughts and behaviors can significantly interfere with daily functioning. Somatic Symptom Disorder In Somatic Symptom Disorder, a person experiences physical symptoms that cause excessive thoughts, feelings, or behaviors related to the symptoms. The physical symptoms may or may not be associated with a diagnosed medical condition, but they cause significant distress and interfere with daily life. Hoarding Disorder Hoarding disorder involves persistent difficulty discarding or parting with possessions, regardless of their actual value. The thought of getting rid of items causes significant distress. This results in the accumulation of items that clutter living spaces, making them unusable. Hoarding can lead to unsafe living conditions and conflicts with family members. Trichotillomania Trichotillomania, also known as hair pulling disorder, involves recurrent irresistible urges to pull out hair from the scalp, eyebrows, or other areas of the body. This behavior causes significant distress and can result in noticeable hair loss. People with trichotillomania often try to stop or decrease hair pulling but find it difficult to do so. Excoriation, skin picking disorder. Excoriation disorder involves recurrent picking at one's own skin, leading to skin lesions. People with this disorder often spend a significant amount of time picking their skin, which causes distress and impairment in social, occupational, or other areas of functioning. They may attempt to stop or decrease skin picking but find it challenging to do so. Agoraphobia Agoraphobia is an anxiety disorder characterized by fear of places or situations that might cause panic, helplessness, or embarrassment. People with agoraphobia often avoid these situations, which can include using public transportation, being in open or enclosed spaces, standing in line, or being in a crowd. In severe cases, a person may become housebound. Selective mutism Selective mutism is a childhood anxiety disorder where a child is unable to speak in certain social situations, such is at school despite being able to speak in other settings like at home. This is not due to a lack of knowledge of the spoken language or a speech impediment, but rather extreme anxiety in social situations. Pyromania Pyromania is an impulse control disorder characterized by deliberate and purposeful fire setting on more than one occasion. People with pyromania experience tension or emotional arousal before setting a fire and feel pleasure, gratification, or relief when setting fires or witnessing their aftermath. The fire setting is not done for monetary gain, to express anger, or to conceal criminal activity. Kleptomania Kleptomania is an impulse control disorder characterized by the recurrent failure to resist impulses to steal items, even though these items are not needed for personal use or their monetary value. The stealing is not done out of anger or vengeance. People with kleptomania often experience increased tension before the act and feel relief or gratification during the theft. Intermittent Explosive Disorder Intermittent Explosive Disorder involves repeated, sudden episodes of impulsive, aggressive, violent behavior or angry verbal outbursts grossly out of proportion to the situation. These episodes are not premeditated and are not committed to achieve a tangible objective. They cause significant distress or impairment in various areas of life. Factitious Disorder Factitious disorder involves falsifying physical or psychological signs or symptoms or inducing injury or disease in oneself or others. This is done to assume the role of a sick person, not for external rewards like financial gain. It can manifest as falsifying symptoms in oneself, formerly called Munchausen Syndrome, or in another person, often a child, formerly called Munchausen Syndrome by proxy. Illness Anxiety Disorder Illness Anxiety Disorder, formerly known as hypochondriasis, involves excessive worry about having or developing a serious illness. This worry persists despite medical reassurance. People with this disorder often misinterpret normal bodily sensations as signs of serious illness, leading to significant anxiety and interference with daily life. Insomnia Disorder Insomnia Disorder involves persistent difficulty falling asleep, staying asleep, or both, despite adequate opportunities for sleep. This sleep disturbance causes significant distress or impairment in daily functioning. Chronic insomnia can contribute to or exacerbate other mental health conditions like depression and anxiety. Specific Learning Disorder Specific Learning Disorder involves ongoing problems in reading, writing, or math that are fundamental to a person's academic achievement or daily life. 
life. This disorder is not due to lack of education or lower intelligence. It can significantly impact academic performance and self-esteem. Acute stress disorder. Acute stress disorder involves the development of severe anxiety, dissociative, and other symptoms that occur within one month after exposure to an extreme traumatic stressor. This disorder is similar to PTSD, but is diagnosed only in the immediate aftermath of a traumatic event. It can be a precursor to PTSD if symptoms persist. Gender dysphoria. Gender dysphoria involves a conflict between a person's physical or assigned gender and the gender with which they identify. People with gender dysphoria may feel strongly that their gender identity does not match their biology or assigned gender. This mismatch can lead to significant distress and problems functioning in daily life. 